What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Innistrad Draft here on Ravnica. I will be your host, Squee the Goblin Nabob. And uh, we're going to uh, probably take Raph. I think it's probably better than Gideon's Reproach. And it puts us squarely in that blue-white archetype that we really want to want to be sitting in for when that Karn gets past to us. You know how it goes. You know. You know. This is actually a very good pack. We got Yav My Sap Herd, Ancient Animus, Shivan Reef Fire, Gitu Chronicler. Let's be real though, it's June 4th and we're still over 300. I agree with you, that's correct. And like a good amount over 300 too, that's pretty good. Uh, I probably just want Baird because it's cool. Shivan Fire is great, but I'd rather, like there's only, I'll just put someone else in those. Hey, there's the Lich's Mastery that we've always wanted. I'm gonna take this unicorn. I'm a big unicorn fan. Cause it's squee marvelous he and that's a late Danitha and a blessed light. I'm gonna take one passing the other. That is no fun. I don't know which one to take. We have legends for days. This is solid removal, but this is one of those creatures. I'm gonna take this Danitha. We can get more removal, but we may never get another Danatha, and Danatha takes over games. Which is weird, because it's just a 2-2, two -two, but, you know. A perfect card doesn't exist. Let's just master it. <gasps> oh my god. It's beautiful. I'm a big Unicorn fan, guys. I uh, just wanted to make that clear to everybody. Memorial to Genius. I like a Jousting Lance, especially with the Danitha and a Mace Unicorn already. I think we can get another one, whereas Memorial is just very, very good to, to keep things flowing. Wow, multiple Lance suggestions. That's amazing. I, I, I like Memorial with the, the intention of getting another Lance. Like, I think that's... I don't think Lances come around, but I think we can get another... Like, I actually do. They do come around sometimes, but... I'll take the Lance. I don't think... I don't... I'm gonna... I disagree with it, but... I don't know. I don't like it. Lance Bass was pretty good astronaut. I have no idea what's happening right now. You gotta still eat, gotta eat to live. Tell you when I have a call. Gonna put this call to Calvary right here into my deck. I like Sergeant at Arms. Uh, that's everything. You like how you like how I'm doing this Aladdin, Aladdin meme here. That's everything. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's great. That is just... F wow! We have it all, dude. Oh my god. I'm going to take Invoke. It's a card I'd rather have than one Adamant Will, and I think Adamant Will is easier to get. Wow. I am the only white drafter at this table. Everyone else is like, I'm steering clear of the white because John Finkel told me not to draft white. And uh, I'm just like, come on. Bardic Wanderer is actually a fine dude. C 
Quacker, I have no idea what these memes have even evolved into. Eurovision 2018? What are you saying right now? Oh, Lord. I mean, I'd rather have... Oh, Lyra Pack 2 Pick 2? That's pretty good. Is that a thing you had? That'll never be something I get. I just started to watch your latest YouTube. Figure I best see it. See if you're on. Here I am, Grouch. Here I am. I'm right here. Yeah, my body's ready for the oath of Tefri, Jaya's immolating inferno, Joda picks. It's gonna be one of those three. So let's be, let's keep our fingers and our toes crossed. I had a pack one, pick one Lyra, and by that, I mean I built a standard deck that runs three Lyra. That's good. Territorial Allosaur. I mean, to be fair, that's probably worth going into blue for. There's no... It could just be Academy Drake. Or not blue, I meant, I meant green, but... Uh, I have no really, I have no real reason to splash Rona when we can just take Academy Drake and win the game. This is, I think this is definitely better than Raph, but I think it's worth taking over an Academy Drake to see what we end up as. Oh, Wow. Oh, that's cool. So the, the guy next to us probably opened Karn or a Teferi because that's the only thing you really take over an Icy. Um, especially because it's colorless. So, you know, that's cool. Their loss is our gain, I guess. Hopefully we'll get one of those cards back as well, so. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna play a we're not gonna play a third color in our deck that has no fixing whatsoever, so. Allosaurus is rough because you need triple green, but we wouldn't be splashing it. We'll just be playing green white, which makes it fine, so. Thorn Elemental, second Pegasus Courser, which is probably better. Although, Thorn Elemental in the air is pretty good. Yaman 3, have it. Take it easy, buddy. I definitely don't think Karn is overrated. I think it's an incredibly strong card with a lots of different versatility. Gideon's Reproach. All right, well. This deck is surprisingly... Wow, another Gideon's Reproach. This is all very interesting here. I don't have to go into a second color yet. I'll just take the second Reproach. Okay, well, this makes me want to stay in the blue. Cloud Rider Sphinx. Cloud Rider Sphinx and Academy Journey Mage. I'm going to go with the Sphinx here, but... I, and a Tetsuko, which is not nothing, but... Did you get any Teferi or Karn from your draft? No, 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 no. Yeah, we'll just go with the Cloud Rider Sphinx. I mean, with the way this draft is looking, the Academy Journey Mage might just come back, so. This is actually surprising. Like, it's a surprising how open the white is. It's actually not even funny. All right, Memorial Glory. Seems good.
Frank, this is your uncle. Do your best. I don't well, only real color. We could play Girl from the Ashes and be green. Um, we passed two Blessed Lights, but, I mean, that's not a... By itself, that's not a signal. You can't have a Blessed Light. Wow, both of these came back? Like, you can't just have Blessed Light dot deck. So. Yeah, this deck is looking pretty ridiculous. Bye bye, blessed light. Dot deck is right. This is, this pick is taking quite a while. This is nineteen plus seven twenty six. We got four more picks left. We want that academy journey mage to come back because no one is in blue clearly, and everyone's fighting over the Jun cards. Relic runner, not terrible. Shield is fine to have. Cutiesandchickens.deck.com <laughs> slash Reglapore. Fantastic. Oh, boy. There are a lot of chickens in this deck, aren't there? Yeah, Antiquities War. Fucking fantastic. Whoops, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to curse. Just got a little upset at the fact that it's almost comical now. It's unbelievable to me that there could actually be this number of drafts that you don't get anything in. It's... So 13 creatures and a call. I think it's probably the Blessed Light here. Oh, a Knight of Grace? Okay. All right. You think people are so so against white in this draft that they're just going to pass the History of Benalias and the Lyris to us? I don't know. I don't know. Earmuffs, guys. Earmuffs. <laughs> oh, God. I love you. Is this love that I'm feeling? If this doesn't 3 0 proof Finkel right, what does that mean? Wow. And another Courser and a Trapper. I'm pretty sure John said white decks are a trap because it's the best color in the set the the white decks are the best in the set and you actually like there was gonna be so many people drafting it that you just want to steer clear of it i'm pretty sure that's what john meant i don't want to play two lances i, I really don't want to play two lances i would rather play one trapper or just take the song to be quite honest yeah like this is what i mean like we could have had memorial and like we've had at least two other shots at lances Oh, white is not the best color. Oh, my bad. I, I thought I thought I had an opinion and you had an opinion, but I guess 
that's not the case. My mistake. I'd rather have a travel because we do have a good amount of legends and artifacts that we can take advantage of it with. Um, blue red is great if you can get the cards for it. I agree with that. I think the the blue red deck is extremely powerful. I definitely don't think white is a trap by any means, though. Why are you over there, chicken? Oh, no one agrees. Wow. I I didn't know that. <laughs> Again, all these facts that I didn't even know about. This is incredible. What a learning experience. Do we we don't have an invoke yet? Oh, we do have we do have one invoke. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's not what we wanted to take at all. That's really weird. I don't think I clicked on that, but I guess we get a cliff top retreat. Uh, glider's fine. It triggers our double trappers now. Another invoke. Another Mesa unicorn. All right. Well, we'll play that over Relic Runner one thousand percent of the time. I still don't want two lances. Like, it's too much of a mana commitment. Three mana a turn. Wow. I'm sorry. Like, the two threes in this format don't really matter. Like, you can... I think they're very, very easy to, to mitigate. If you play one color, do you still need 15 to 17 land? Yeah, of course. Just because you're playing less colors doesn't mean you're not going to need the to hit lands every turn. All right, two cuts. This deck looks pretty ridiculous. We could cut the blue, to be quite honest. Add, like, a charge. The problem is the three blue cards that we're using are flyers. Sergeant is great. Why would I? I've never cut Sergeant. Sergeant's a fantastic addition to any deck. It's a 2-3 three on 3, which blocks most creatures in the format. Um, as we were just mentioning, or it gives you three dudes. Invoke, I, I, I think, in, how, how, Invoke main? Like, Invoke has been main for, like, ages. Since the beginning of this format, Invoke has been in the main deck. Like, because you have things like Song of the Dryad, you have Deep Freeze, which is one of the most popular removal spells in the format. You have tons of equipment spells. You have Icy Manipulator, which is one of the best cards in the format. Oh, just okay. Well, while I'm literally in the in the in the middle of the discussion about why invoke is one of the strongest cards, someone else says cut invoke. Seems good. Oh boy, something happened. Would never cut would never cut a call. Uh, I think call is one of the stronger cards. I personally think one of call is one of the stronger cards in the format. This deck is I mean, like, let's realistically, let's cut these three and see what happens. This is 22 cards. We can easily add in a glider, which goes well with our trappers, and it gives us a little bit of flight. We also have a memorial. Curve is small. We have, like, tons of three drops, one of which is a six drop, preferably, and then tons of four drops. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty average curve. How often have you had a chance to kick a sergeant regularly? I mean, six mana is not hard to get to. I think I, I think you kick sergeant in like 50% of the games you play him in.
At the point you can kick Sarge into one of those, that's completely untrue. That is not a factual statement. Especially when you have things like Jousting Lance in your deck and, and Pegasus Courser. It's literally just an extra body to get to get through within the air or to, to get three points in. Like, completely f fictitious statement. This is weird. Did the Pro Tour happen and everybody just became an expert on, on Dominaria drafting? This is a very strange... This has been a very strange day for chats. I agree. I don't think we're losing anything by with the blue, especially because we have literally all of our white cards only cost one white mana except for Baird or Sargent. Um, I think these are just good enough to add. Definitely don't feel like playing 16 lands, unfortunately. Uh, I think this is not... These are not incredibly hard cuts. Uh, Triple Mesa Unicorn Knight of Grace is great. Adamant Will is pretty easily to cut pretty easily to cut i can probably see cutting an invoke here one two three four five we only have six six triggers for trapper i could see cutting a trapper and maybe playing the adamant one instead this is actually 15 creatures plus double call so having the trick would be nice and we can play memorial 13 three i'm gonna say seven nine How sneezy, Mike. He's good. He's good. I will play first, as you could imagine. I'll keep this hand. Lands. Lands, lands, lands. Nope, another four drop. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate, because <laughs> four is a good... Ha <laughs> ha I did see the Sam Black draft. It was pretty... Uh, oh, we did it, boys. It was pretty impressive. I, uh, I felt like it, it harkened back to our drafts of previous. He played way more Navigator's Compasses than I would have. But he already played... He already had, he had a, joy, a Joyra in the deck as well. So I can understand it. All right. Well, good game. We had a good game. I'm going to have the rest of my lunch. And it's going to be a cliff bar. And you got some crinkling ASMR uh, sound effects, so. Hmm, no attacks. I like it. No lands either. I just like it. This is a deck where if you just draw lands, you probably can't lose. Hmm. Cliff bars are bad. I didn't know that. Another factual statement from the chat today. This is you guys are you guys are killing it today. <laughs> Just killing it. I watch your YouTubes. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I like taking sentences in the modern time and wondering what people would say if you said those in olden times. Like if you said to someone in the 1950s, hey, buddy, I watch your YouTubes. 
What does that mean to them, you think? Probably nothing. Cliff bars are like, they're like protein bars, basically. One, two, three. I feel like we can just take this here. I need to land and like we we get real explosive, if you know what I mean. That guy's big. Oh, we did it. We have it all now. Maybe. Five five seven seven nine nine. Potential be a nine nine here. We didn't swing with the Pegasus and the guy because we have no idea what they're gonna do here. If we if we attack with these two, I don't know how I want to block or what they're gonna do. And we're at 14. I don't I don't feel like we're ahead here, so that's why we didn't do that. I mean, bear if we play bear, they have to they have to pay two. They have seven mana. Like I don't feel like them paying two is really that. It's really not that big of a tax for them. So a three through they can make it a nine one two three four five six seven eight like they could clear their board but then like we'd still get to get the one two three four six seven eight nine till this is twelve they get to deal nine so they can go two four six seven eight nine we have to keep one courser for them like, how bad is this block it seems fine I'll risk it they get to kill one guy or they get to kill like a million guys I don't know What do they bounce? They bounce a knight for four. So this is a five, five, and one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so it survives. Sure. Unicorn, unicorn. I don't think these actually do anything for us, unfortunately. I would be tempted to double block this guy. Or this guy. I'll double block either one. Actually, double blocking this guy kills it. So, that's probably better. Wouldn't Ice be order at 5? No, because if we tap this guy, they still get a 3-3. Three, three. I'd rather just advance the board. Well, they can get it back if they play something terrible like this, so sure. But we have no guarantee they're going to do that.
Now we're just going to play Icy. That's actually fine. All right, so you have one card. Seems good. You can't put that on your wall this turn. That's okay. If we hit a land here, it's pretty good. I like hitting lands. I mean, I'm going to take three here and assume you're not going to sack your team. It's surprising how scary Thalid Omnivore can be in certain situations. Well, at least it's on a wall wizard. Oh my god, this one little fly is getting on my friggin' nerves, dude. So close, yet so far. I saw a wizard's, oh, a, a deck with a wizard's wand in it. I don't know if it was a wizard's wand draft deck per se. Hey, look, it's a sergeant. It's actually very good here. Remember that situation where chump blocking was what this guy's gonna do? Seems fine. I mean, blocking 2, 3, and 1, 1 on this guy and forcing them to sack a dude is pretty good. I've also got a fly spawn point in my, in my house and it's extremely frustrating. Remember when we asked if you ever cast him for six? I do remember that, surprisingly enough. And I said it happens regularly. Almost all the time. I will trade two-thirds of a sergeant for your wall if you want to sack your wall. Tap your wall, sack your wall. Whoa, sack that guy. Okay. Deal. So many, so much, so such legendaries. Doesn't really do much here, though. And you can't play the other guy, which is pretty good for us. Hey, if it's not Birdman. Actually, we can actually, f actually, we can actually flash that guy in three, four, five. So float on you yeah I actually am using apple cider vinegar I have a, a tray of apple cider vinegar in my in my kitchen right now actually with some soap so that so 10 huh we're gonna need to survive a couple more turns which should be fine Scrub Drafter, awesome. I, I appreciate your questions, definitely. Um, sometimes I just, it's hard to get tone over the internet. So sometimes it's like, do you ever even kick that guy? Like, that's usually the, the assumption I make how people are saying things when, when it's on Twitch, you know? So yeah, when you're genuinely asking questions, no, no problem at all asking. Or answering, rather. 
I'm trying to get it, but it looks real ridiculous for me. I'm just like waving like a crazy person. This is a pretty good block. Dang. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Scrub Director, when I saw you say legit question earlier, I was like, okay, sounds good. I know this isn't a troll. Three, four, five, six. And tap one down. I think we just want the, the blockers here, to be quite honest with you. If I'm going to be quite honest with you. Yep, go to five. So if they find a way to kill Corsair, we don't win. It's a problem. Actually, we can go tap a guy, tap a guy. If they have a way to kill Corsair, they're not getting anything else back. We know they're... Isn't their hand, like, Relic and Digilent? Digilent? Diligent? Digilent. <laughs> Digilent. Are three slices of bread together a bread witch? Uh, I don't think so, no, because you have a club sandwich, which is sets a precedent that three slices of bread um, is, is included in a sandwich, but is not a sandwich. So I think that's something to be careful of. And that'll do. All right. I didn't think we were winning this game, but then I realized our deck was very, very good. And we have the like, Invoke actually seems good against our deck when they have like uh, the wall. And the Sorcerer's Wand. And then they have something else? I thought I saw something else. A toast sandwich? What the hell is this? This needs to get out of here. This cannot be real, right? Why is this a real thing? Well, yeah, I'm not going to invoke their wall if they have indestructible up. That's obvious, but I mean, it's still a target. Uh, Invoke is going to go late. It's not like an early pick by any means. Like, well, just because I think it's main deckable in this format doesn't mean it's uh, it's going to be an early pick. Those those two are not mutually exclusive. Oh god, we're getting real philosophical about the sandwiches here. Um, I don't even know if we need anything. Our deck seems good. I'm just going to submit like this and see what happens. We'll go to the videotape, I guess. We also got stuck on lands for a while, and we still end up winning that game, so. Is pie a sandwich? No. That one I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a strong no on. Our hot dog sa not this again. I feel like we always go through this. Oh, that was such a good draw. Can I tell you how good of a draw that was? Would you say pie is objectively not a sandwich? Um. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one of those memes where it's like lawful good, lawful evil, etc. 
And I'm gonna put the um did they not block? That's pretty sweet. And I'm gonna put the uh I'm gonna put all these on there. It's gonna be hot dog, pie, toast sandwich. It's gonna all go on there. It's gonna be a lot of chaotic evils. A lot of chaotic evils, ladies and gentlemen. Well that is a that is a thing. Play this island. I just asked you to play it. Play the island! Oh, that's been done? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Well, that's close. That's close. Alright. It's all been done. Okay, don't call him daddy. That's really awkward. It sounds so sexual. Like, it's super uncomfortable. It makes me cringe. It's so cringy. What a cringe. It's such a cringy nickname. Kevin Jones, I'm sorry, buddy. That is not. <laughs> All right, then. There you go. Uh... It's all been done. Ooh -hoo -hoo. They got tricks. Tricks on tricks on tricks on tricks. Yeah, I I've heard nothing but good things about Kevin, so um no nothing no negative no negative connotations whatsoever. I just think the nickname is funny. What did they turn this into? Island Oh, an old island swamp. They turned it into an underground sea. A classic. Ooh hoo hoo. Well, that's just that's just mean. Nobody likes to show off Mamba Dan, okay? I still got a bird. We good. Is cereal a soup? No. No. I think a soup specifically has uh, is made with a stock, be it vegetable or meat. It's all been done. Why do I have this Bare Naked Lady song stuck in my head? I'm just going to tap this down and get in there for seven because I feel like that puts us close to winning. Oh, no. Oh, the sadness. I has a sadness. Milk is a stock. No. No. Oh, I see. I have a, I have a bigger sadness now. My sadness is... Absolute. This is a worse creature. I'm just going to keep getting in there. In where? You know, the board, the game. We'll get rid of Trapper, I guess. It's like I got a whisper. You can get our raft back. That's pretty obnoxious, but Ooh, it's all been done. It's all been done before. This guy is full stone, full on millstoning, like him and yourself. <laughs> oh man, this guy's like mill you for three, mill me for three, mill you for three, mill everyone. 
I'm going to keep gaining two life a turn. I'm going to feel good about it. They have three cards in hand? All right, they get a Raph, I, I presume. I can't imagine Raph is not the pick here. Correct. So we have a Gideon's Reproach. Oh, Tetsuko Mumizawa, Island and a Gideon's Reproach. Seems reasonable. It's all been done. Woohoo! Pass. Yep, that guy's fine. Long-time follower, spread extreme viewer, have gone through 43 of the Dominator drafts on YouTube over the last month. Why can't Bolas be a meta thing? I'm playing on Arena and life is all red deck wins. What is that? What do you mean, what do you mean Bolas? In Bolas' clutches or Nickel Bolas himself? What's your question here? I'll tap this guy down. If I had a million Yargles. That was a good draw. All the draws are good. Bottom you, and I'll keep you. You're good enough to keep. You're good enough to keep. It's been one week since we died on stream. Cock my head to the side so there's no corn. It'll still be two weeks till you'd open a carn. I feel like Nickel Bolas is pretty bad against this mono red meta, right? It's all been done. What did you make? A swamp again? God, don't have another Vicious Offering as your last card. They do. Ugh, crying out loud. That's so sad. Oh, and they milled this. And, yeah, that's sad. I had a sad... I has a sad... I just watched our win condition. Both of our... They just took out both of our win conditions. Blessed Light. That's also good against their Rite of Bells and Lock, but I guess we can just tap that dude forever. Gonna tap that dude forever. They can only attack with two creatures here, so. Also, another card that uh, would benefit from an Invoke in our deck. So... It's actually pretty good. It's all been done. One, two, three, four, five, six. They only attack with six guys at most, and that's if they cast nothing. We have two courses in our deck. That is correct. Yep, 
Now they can attack with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, two. I'll take five here. Cringe City, USA. I guess we're just passing here. All right, sack of dude. So long, cleric. I have no cards in hand, so actually it's not terribly out of the question to double to double block this guy. Or we could block him with one Baird and one, and then we just lose one guy. Which is probably better. I mean, they do kill the Baird, but... Is it better to trade one Baird or two Knights? That's the question. What up, Gunners? You guys blew it. That surely means you drafted a Teferi today. No, sir. Close, though. We actually, it was real close. We opened the pack, and there was almost a Teferi, but there wasn't. So, it was close. God, unicorns all day. All day. Oh my god, I just, there's like a literal bug like right in my face. It's unbelievable. I just hit myself in the face. It's amazing. God, it's so frustrating. We're going to kill the uh, the raft here because it's our raft. So, you know, if we have a way to get guys from back from the graveyard, that's pretty cool. Plus, if they attack with any ground guys... flies. Am I right? Rona. That's pretty good. You can get back a Whisper. That's also pretty good. This is why we also killed our own guy. Oh, you can get back a Rite of Bells Unlock, actually. That's pretty impressive. Alright, our opponent's deck has gotten cooler, for sure. Eldest Reborn. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Milled two more cards. We have six cards in our library. That's fantastic. Which is actually just terrible. Well, they can't attack here, presumably. If they accidentally attack with one of the flyers, it's fantastic. They did not. And we drew a land. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are four lands in our five card deck. Now we just literally have to hope they don't hit anything. We get to tap demon, tap other guy. And then we should be able to win if they don't hit anything. That's my theory. That is not going to do it. This could do it. That doesn't do it. 
I think we got it. Yeah, I think our deck is four lands and a courser right now. That's actually pretty comical. Scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Sitting on the passenger side of his best friend's van, trying to holler at me. That's not the courser. Think we did it. GG's. I see is a good card. You ain't wrong, buddy. You ain't wrong. Yeah, giving info off the tutor is pretty rough. You don't have to show me that card. You can get any card you want. Trying to holler at. Why do I have this? Now I have TLC stuck in my head? I don't understand. I will play first. That's a good idea, Magic Online. I'm going to keep this hand because we have a lot of low drops. He got mad. At well, I would have probably told him after that round. I don't know if I would have waited until the end of the tournament. But I also don't think it's... You don't have any, you don't have any uh, obligation to tell him. So him getting mad at you because you waited is really weird. Like, you could have just not told him at all. I'm constantly impressed by your multitasking skills, allow you to sing, talk with chat, and play solid magic all at the same time. Yeah, you can definitely see my mistakes. Like earlier, we went to uh, uh, gift of gift of giving. I don't know what that card's called. Gift ungive gifts ungiven. We gave our opponents grun plus four plus four is what I'm saying here. Here comes an equip and attack. Oh, that's pretty good. I really want to get rid of that guy now. Gift of growth? Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably accurate. Imperial swag. I can't imagine anyone else having these beautiful biddies. Keep it real, Frank. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, and a gift of embiggening. You guys are wonderful. I'm a fan of your, your patronage. Trying to holler at me. Actually gonna block here. I don't feel like taking this guy's a million damage. Sure. Uh, for each... So if I exile this at the beginning of combat, they don't get any because they don't have any equipment, right? Like, they, it checks on resolution, right? And it prevents them from putting the short sword on the courser, so... That would be... That probably was Hunter doing a cameo. That's how he do. I don't want no scrums. 
Let's grab him. He's like, he can't get no love from me. If anyone has any confirmation on that, let me know. Because otherwise, I won't let them go to go to combat. Dogs are better than cats. Change my mind. If you, uh, I don't have to change your mind. You have the correct opinion, my friend. I love cats too. Don't get me wrong. I have a cat. I just want to see the thick mic again. Okay. Well, nailed it. Well, it's not a risk. Like it's actually. I mean, the the, the game either works one way or the other, right? If we kill at the end of the main, then they get the chance to move the short sword over to the Pegasus Courser, which I'd rather not have them do. So, I mean, I'd rather. I'd rather 100% like the rules are the rules, right? So this is going to trigger. And then he's not going to have any, but it might use last known information. Yep. All right. Last known information. It says, oh, it had one. So you get it. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. Now we know though. We've learned. Hoss mania. Oh, look, and a Sarah Angel. Our deck is getting worse now because reasons. Hay fever is an English term. It means, yeah, it's allergies for trees and stuff during the summer. That is correct. Well, that's obnoxious, but... Go to five life. Quende. Quende, bloody Quende. All right, go. Wow. I'm going to bottom both of these because reasons. Oh, you give this guy flight. It's actually terrible for us, isn't it? No, I guess it's not. We don't block here. We have to kill one of them. We can block here and block here. And that's actually good blocks if they don't have any tricks. But they probably do. They always have tricks, you see. Sure. I don't think there's anything we can actually draw here, so that's sad. I mean, double strike doesn't... Yeah, sure. We have a lot of early dudes. I'm really surprised that we're not seeing more. Like, three Mace Unicorns and a Knight and uh, Double Pegasus, of course, or Sergeant. Like, we have a lot of early things to play. I don't think we've seen Danitha once. Uh, we, we got our milled one time, but... See, again, like no two drops, three drop, four drop, four drop, five drop. I'll keep it because Gideon's Reproach is good. And uh, they didn't have Lance, they had Short Sword, and I don't think it's worth it just for a Short Sword. It's just a plus one, plus one. If I see anything else, I'll bring it in, but... So if we draw a three, if we draw, let's draw Danith off the top, huh? Well, there's a Lance. Don't we feel sheepish now? 
Yeah, this is probably an invoke matchup. I'm watching you at work, and when people come by my office to talk to me, I meet you so I can talk to them. The meat of my TV appears right Doug. over your mouth. It's quite <laughs> That's because I'm censored. Doug Exeter, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Well, that's sad. Wish we had a fourth land, because that's when our hand takes off. You got it. This is cool. Well, this is a fair and even match of Magic the Gathering. Give my buddy float. I have an adamant will or a run amok. The joke is on you, good sir. No, oh, okay. We'll just bounce. Shove and fire. Double courser. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Well, isn't that cute? This seems like a blowout, right? Like, we can just reproach an adamant will. Let's see. I'm at the bar eating chicken wings. Congrats, buddy. R. Dean, way to go. Enjoy your chicken wings. You got it. You got lightning all over my dude. Whatever that means. That guy is so swole. My guy is also swole. Swole city. Oh, look, another kicked gentleman. That's a good boy. How did you get introduced to magic? Uh, a friend of mine named Adam Egner introduced me to magic way back in like 1997, maybe. And uh, it's probably earlier than that, actually. No, it was definitely earlier than that. It was like 1995 because it was definitely middle school. Call and a... I want both of these. Next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can't do two of anything, unfortunately. We can play Icy. Which is pretty good. I'll put you on the bottom. I'll put you on the top. And he showed me... He showed me the cards, and he kind of gave me an idea of how to play, and I was like, these cards look amazing. This is like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, and I didn't really take it seriously at the time, but I always remembered it, and I thought the cards were super cool. And uh, eventually, I just started playing more frequently. You know, I'll just block here. Like, if you, any pump spell is going to already put us out, so if you have an Adamant Will or Gideon's Reproach or something, like it's already going to run amok. Yeah, sure. Run amok on any of those guys is going to kill us, so we might as well just get the sure. So they have no cards in hand. That's pretty good. How old am I? Ancient. Like 400 years old. Frank, Frank, he's a man if he can't do it. We need more swole guys. I agree with that. That is a... 
as a valid assessment of our swole guy status. So this is six damage, unfortunately. I would really like a seventh damage. Three, four, five, six. Do we block here or do we kill a guy? That's the question. Three, four, five, six. So we go to three here. All right. Wizard's Lightning number two. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're going to have two flyers. We're going to have to block one. Chump it. If you guys could not secretly try to decode my age in the chat I'd appreciate it it's really awkward um that no that doesn't kill us it, it kills us if we don't do it so so we're just gonna block here we'll take two we'll go to one and just hope they don't have it I guess that would also tap them out and they'd be dead so we just have to hope they didn't draw it Oh. Ooh, they don't have it. They don't have it. It's a good draw. This guy's got trample. That'll do, pig. All right, sweet. Yeah, invoke definitely seems good enough. Now you guys are still talking about my age. That's super cool. Let me take out for this guy. If you really like me, then you'd probably uh, A, respect the fact that I don't really like you guys discussing my age in the chat, and B, uh, not care, because it wouldn't be relevant. So, that feels more accurate to me, but... What do I know? Still not interested at all in Battlebond? I, I don't know if I... Did I say I wasn't interested? I actually thought it was a blast. I was looking forward to playing it this past weekend. Have you been overseas? If so, so, I have not been overseas. It, it feels strange. The the farthest I've been is like Hawaii. So, um, I think we'll just play like this. Actually, I've gone to forty one before. I ain't too proud to be forty one. 
no, I had a great time. I I was looking. I, I wasn't. I'm not interested in the sense that like I thought it was a commander set. The the set was fun to draft, not not to draft to play sealed with. I thought it was a blast. Um, I'm gonna actually try to do it again this weekend because they're doing the run back on on Saturday. Dude. Uh, you're a viewer, and um, if you want to go out of your way to find out my age, cool, go for it. I'm just literally asking you to not discuss it in the chat. That's all. If that's not, if that's too much of a request for you, see ya. <laughs> Peace out. I I don't think it's that big of a request, but you know, it is what it is. On the bright side, if they have run amok here, we take seven, but we also get to play call, and, well, that was reasonable. I'll start. I'm five. That's fair. I appreciate that. This guy's actually problematic. And they put this on this guy. We got a 6-6. Six, six. We double block. It doesn't do anything. Oh. That's great news. Hmm. Okay. I like his Quende sandwich. That's a good question. That's a gas question. Uh, I think it is if you put two swords on. Then he's a Quende sandwich with the swords as the bread. So you're gonna deal three. You go kill, kill one. Then what happens with this bird? I guess we just block the bird here. All right. So you clearly don't have a trick. Otherwise, you would have probably used it to save the bird there. That seems better than whatever you did. They have one card. It's actually pretty good for us. All right. Um. <sighs> We could go Unicorn and and Pegasus. Triple blocking this guy is actually fine. They get to kill one. Yeah, this is fine. Because we can double block both. We come out ahead. Alrighty then. One, two, three. Put a million in front. I'm going to assume you didn't just draw Runamuck, because Runamuck would have been amazing last turn if you had it. Yeah, one night token for, for a Quende is pretty insane there. I'm sorry, where did my other guys go? Oh, this is a double strike. Never mind. We lost three. Three night tokens for Quende. My bad. I forgot how Magic the Gathering works. <laughs> I forgot about the second and third strikes. <laughs> Six, 
Never didn't have it. I thought we went from really we went we went from really good to mm, kind of mediocre. Sure, that's really good with the sword. Where's our invoke? You'll never see it. Hooray. All right, 27 to seven. We are way far behind. I also don't know, what is a, what's a main board? What is that? Let me try to champion for a Baird. It's not ideal by any means, but f crying out loud, come on. Blessed Light, off the top, one time. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> Trapper is not gonna do it. That's unfortunate. Yep, that is pretty brutal. All right, so uh, turns out one Quende, one Sarah, one Invoke are better than our entire deck, so that is unfortunate. I have not played any more Arena. Well, we're not going to block with Corsair here because reasons. Just play a land. Play your land. Nothing. It's not actually terrible, but it doesn't actually do much for us. It keeps our guy. It gives us two more turns, I guess. a good block however we can kill the Sarah Angel which is the important part <sighs> congratulations you should go play the lottery you are very good at Magic the Gathering Why not? <laughs> Why not? Oh, crying out loud. Deal. You're way too salty? Okay. My bad. Man, I didn't think, like, having, like, five words to say at the end of a game where you lost unfor completely unfortunately was the equivalent of too, way too salty, but I guess, uh, I guess I stand corrected. I will play first. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand's good. We'll keep this hand. Man, from now on, I'll just cheer and, and get up and do a lap next time I, I lose to a, a very unfortunate situation where my opponent draws everything before moving on to the next round. Completely fine. Oh, you take a blue-red deck to a salty destination. That makes sense. I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. Is salt a sandwich? <laughs> oh, God. We've gone too far. Has science gone too far? Come on, lands. Don't do this to me. Okay, you didn't do it to me. Thank you, lands, every day. That guy's worse than my guy, but they block the same. I'm pretty sure I just want to trade here, and then we'll just play Danitha.
Yeah, that's fine. Guys, I apologize for those four seconds of salt. I know it was, uh, I know it was extensive. Where my lands be at? I lose and then the salt, like I just lost and I'm fine now. Like, I don't understand. I literally have one. I, I have very few. I have very few requests in stream, and one is like, "Don't focus on my age. Like, don't bring it. Like, don't. I don't. I just don't. I don't like talking about it, and I don't think it's relevant to the content. Like, it's one of my few requests on stream. So, like, when people are like, "Okay, well, he he said he was he did this in 1965, and then in 1982 he was here, and then they try to like piece it together in the chat. It feels really like kind of awkward. Like, it's kind of invasive almost." So yeah, that's one of my requests. Like that's one of my free reflect. I don't think that's a salty thing. I think that's a personal space thing. That's like a that's like a request my a personal request thing. So I mean, but there are so many. Yeah, I mean, but I'm not gonna like. Well, better so just deal with it then. I mean, that's not how that's gonna work. So, you know, both these guys are for. I'll trade this for this. Maybe no, I don't want to do that. All my guys are very good. I'll just raff. I did get salty about it because I, I like I expressed to you, it's a personal space. Like it's a personal, uh, it's a personal respect thing. Like it's, I I appreciate if someone has respect for my personal details. I don't know. Like you're you're confusing the word. Like you're 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 using the words salty and uh, upset because something is bothering you interchangeably and yes human beings are, are prone to getting upset about things that bother them like that's literally human nature so i mean i don't i don't know what i don't know if you want, you just want me to not be upset by things or like i don't i guess i don't know what your point is like don't be upset on your stream ever don't ever be don't ever show any emotions unless you're making us laugh all right well i can do that i guess but it's not gonna be enjoyable for anybody Uh, one day you guys will find out that he didn't want to talk about his age because he was a vampire. Oh my god, look at this. They'll equip this guy, and then I'm just going to be oh, actually... Yeah, and then we just bared, and then they have no mana to... Where are your manas at now, my friend? <laughs> Adam, it will. Island? You're a stupid idiot, Island. Got him. This time I actually will do this, because if you want to trade one for the other, that's fine. Frank's been dead for 20 years! Oh, 10 salty bits. Oh, that's not going to work the way you think it works. That is not the block you want to use. All right. Well, we did it. We did it. Frank, your salt is it and genuine personality and honesty is the reason I stopped watching countless LSB and Marshall videos last year. That upon revisiting now kind of bore me. I embraced you down to earth. Is that true? Can you can you explain that a little bit further? Because that's an interesting perspective, and I, I I've never heard that before. To be quite honest, what what specifically? Um, made you stop watching for them because that's really interesting and also like I'm going to be honest with you guys I do get upset like I definitely get upset when I lose and I've, I went over this in an episode of Frank Thoughts on, on my Patreon page and I talked about this um, actually maybe I didn't I don't think I released that one I didn't release that one. I still have that in the queue. Um, the reason, I think the reason is because like as a, you know, a professional magic player, when you're losing, like 
and especially when it happens like time after time after time like if you're losing in these events like it's almost feels like it's almost feels invalidating does that make sense these guys are coming in too everybody's coming in we're all having a good time but also you know in my defense which is weird to say because you're defending yourself um i try to actually always acknowledge when i am being salty about something and uh you know make up for it you know i'm like hey i understand i was being salty that sucks i uh i i'm sorry i you know overreacted or what have you but you know it's hard to like only human man like Frank's voice is super good. Is that true? Do I have a good voice? Thank you for saying so about my good voice. I used to fall asleep to Frank's videos before I started working my new job and now can watch them while I work. You can still do that. Like, you don't have to only watch them during the stream. You can just just put those bad boys on as some magic ASMR. I will keep this hand. Only if you use your old-timey... Hey, guys! Welcome to the old-timey announcer voice for magicthegatheringinternet.com slash Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm your host, Jim Neighbors. That's not my name. I lost nonstop over the weekend to drawing two lands and five drafts, just lands. Yeah, that's... And it's so frustrating. Like, I get that. I'm just here for Mitch, and I don't watch LSV because they don't have Mitch. That makes sense. I understand that. Jim... I don't think Jim Neighbors is alive anymore. I think Jim Neighbors passed away. Yeah, Jim Neighbors died last year. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, what a legend, dude. Jim Neighbors literally died in November of 2017. Wow, that's so sad. I'm actually... That's actually super disheartening. Jim Neighbors was a classic, dude. When you think of like feel good slapstick comedians like Jim Neighbors as the dude. Wow, that's so sad. Moment of silence for Jim Neighbors. Besides John Madden, I don't even, <laughs> I don't think I've listened to anywhere near enough John Madden for him to be one of my favorite announcers. I'm trying to go back to uh I think we, we got a little carried away. Ch -ch 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 being a little salty for a short while after losing game it just reflects that you're invested in the game. In my book, it's a good thing and I believe it makes you a better player, being invested and attentive. I'm fairly new to your streams, but been watching lately. Who was the guy streaming with you the other day? Um there's usually two people streaming with me. One is my friend Rob, also goes by Swole Mike, and then there's also my friend Mike, who goes by Thick Mike. So those are the two. A tale of two mics. Alright, our opponent drew more more call the cavalries than we did so can't when eat those cliff bars i have a fear of roaches and hearing that while i sleep would wake me up scared that there's one around wow that's weird i'll keep that in mind less cliff bars on stream because of uh because of roach fears Oh, I actually had no idea that was... You didn't know Jim Neighbors was a real person? That's hilarious. I started watching because he did the Channel 5 videos when I started playing, and he was the only one who didn't have constant buzzing sound. I, I, uh, I deliberately try to avoid that buzzing sound. Um, that sound is usually like a fan or a computer or just a really low-quality microphone. A lot of them use like their laptop mics and stuff, and um, hence why I spent so much money on the mic that I use um, because I think mic quality is extremely important. We are not doing well here. Five drop. Wow. See, like right now, I'm drawing like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine lands to three spells. And I'm fine with that. It's whatever. I'm so uncultured. Yeah, but not to be 100% real. I really come off the streamers who either present themselves 
as oh wow there we go we figured it out we figured out why they're doing so well that'll do night 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 yeah that's cool bring in the invoke now 100 percent invoke maybe two invokes maybe all the invokes i'll invoke everything i'll invoke everything i have i'll take out Partic wander actually I come off the streamers who either present themselves as total authority or who you can't trust to be telling you the truth and are always just memeing calling <laughs> golf. And I really don't like the dudes who have no sense of humor and seem like MTG automatons. <laughs> you strike the perfect balance of funny, knowledgeable, and real. And for that. thank you so much, man. I appreciate Quacker. That's really appreciated. Can we make Thick Rob a thing? Um, I think we could make Thick Rob a thing, but he'd have to... I think he'd have to get less swole, right? I'll say you're definitely my favorite magic screen and only do provide good insight and commentary to the game. You take the time to have fun with chat and hold back and see. Also keep up the good PR with YouTube while other streamers tend to hoard their content. You're getting on or Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. This is um the mic you use more like the Mitchie. That's fair. That's true. There are two I'm gonna we're bringing in double invoke because history is so good and if we can kill it before they get the second guy, it's good. And also because they have jousting lance, so and the life is also relevant. I don't know if it's correct, but we have a lot of creatures. We have 14 creatures and two calls. And we have a ton of three drops, a ton of two drops. I was an audio engineer, so I'm pretty into it. My sound rig is more than my more than my car, but my camera is $50. <laughs> Gotta mask my ugliness. I will play first. Oh, this hand is great. I'm a big fan of the unicorn and the jousting lance. Oh, Elk Tears is, is writing. Um, I call BS if you don't get salty. You're not a real MTG lover if you don't get... Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, it's only human nature to get upset when you lose. I think it's how you handle um, the aftermath. Like, I, I don't... I never want to call my opponent names. I never want to insult my opponent. I never want to blame them because they drew well. I'll do it silently, like, over here. Uh, not silently, but not to their face. Like, in the chat, and I'll be like, well, I just had everything. But that doesn't reflect their personality. It doesn't re reflect them as a person. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, then I'll try to get over it and shake it off and, and, and move past it. Cause that's really the, the best way of handling it. I think. All right. Well, I'm trying to keep up with this. I like Frank who makes empire records references. That is a good movie. It's soul Mike and thick Rob, AKA Rob and Mike. <laughs> yeah. Those are just their names. Um, there we go. There we go. All right. If we can draw one Island, I think our hand is gas. Even if we can, I think we're good. Yes, that's true not to be a hater on any of the pros because deep down I still love them. Yeah, definitely. Uh, at a certain point watching CFP video of martial drafting just felt like sitting in class lectures. The downside to constantly talking through every possible play you can make and every possible play your opponent can make and everything you should think about when picking your cards and the overvaluation and yada yada. Okay, okay. And then I thought to myself, aren't I just watching these videos for entertainment? This has become unentertaining to me. I agree with that a lot, actually. And I've always tried to interject humor into my videos uh, and be a little... Like, I've always... I've actually watched a lot of content as well as a way to like kind of gauge like you know who's doing what but i'm always like this is so weird that they don't do this thing or that they do this thing it's it there's a lot of situations where i'm always surprised um by the things people aren't trying or they're like how how rigid they are like there's certain situations where i'm just like this is you're not even trying to like entertain or like interject personality here you're just literally robotically you know going through play-by-plays or like you know, trying to win the game and like, I'm like, where does the fun exist in this, in this game for you? You know, like, where does that, where does that come into play? Um, and then Lucy, uh, Luis, the, the smugness and overconfidence has started to leave a bad taste in my mouth. Then we have a streamer like you, who's honest, gets frustrated and has fun in a sense you were and reminds me of myself as a romantic player, but at the same time, your skill experience and still offers things to learn just isn't banging them over my head. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 w I would love to say I try to do all that. God, this guy's going to die, isn't he? All right, little unicorn. No Gideon's reproach. He's so dead. He's not doing good. Yeah, that's what we thought. It's so sad. Sorry, I had to split, I had to split my answer of a ton to fit it all. Now I mean, we call them thing. <laughs> 
Uh, there's wrote an essay and copy and paste it to chat. I think if you're streaming for four hours a day, you're probably bound to have a moment. Yeah, that's the other thing, right? Like, I'm I'm streaming four to six hours a day, every day. Uh, m- most of the time, at least once on the weekend as well. And it gets to a point where it's just like, well, I mean, there's going to be moments where I'm not thrilled about situations. Oh, God, what happened? This game turned around real fast. You guys are also seeing me live too. Like when I when I would do videos for articles and stuff, like if I got salty, I could edit that out. And then I could just not comment on it or I can not post that match or whatever. This is all live. Like what you see is what you get. This is actually probably our best play here. I don't like one, two, three on this guy. I'd rather just go Raph into Baird, I guess. I'm just here for the Frank bug. That's appreciated, buddy. Thank you, Kerwit. And then I have to bounce going to team draft. Hopefully, I hope ending on my honest stream enough for all the shenanigans are like. Elk Tear is always a pleasure, buddy. Love you. Uh, I think Luis is great. Don't get me wrong. Um, I have not an unkind word to say about Luis. I think he's awesome. Um, that being said, I can understand a lot of the the things people are saying as well, you know. They have two cards, so we just have to survive, and we're at 15. I think we can do it. Also, I never had any intention for this to turn into a... Uh, into a, comp- a frank complimentary stream, but thank you guys so much for saying so. I really appreciate it. You don't have mana for that. <laughs> That's not how that works. Stay home. Oh, that was a good draw. No beats. Thank you so much for the sub four months in a row, man. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy four month birthday. I wish this was an enchantment, you and warrior. They have one card. This is a good one with Shauna on board. Shauna na na. We want to do this. I think this is the best use of mana because if we if we equip, we can block and Shauna. Or we can just block block. We can just actually this is fine. Let's just keep up uh, Gideon's approach, which is good. Maybe we should have put it on you actually, because then we get to get in there for free. But then if they just like block three two three one, that doesn't do anything. First strike. But I don't want to go block in Gideon's approach because it's not going to have... Fr- I, this is the guy I want to block with. So. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. This definitely turned into an honesty stream. You guys have been excellent. Ha ha! There needs to be at least one Frank Collin right for every opinions fact stream and Frank age stream. I agree with you. That's a fair trade off. So if we're going to sit here and discuss my age and uh, what was the other thing? The opinions as facts. This card is not good. Period. Period. And I'll be like, okay, well. Guess you're going to have to compliment me, buddy. Sorry you feel that way. Oh, no attack here, huh? I see. That's what we were hoping for, actually, because now we can play a four drop and... Keep up the rage. I'm, I'm ageless. Their board is still very, very oppressive right now.
Don't play another creature, that's all I'm asking. All comments must be in Sandwich Farm. I love that card, sucks your grave, by the way. <laughs> I love you, that card sucks your grave, by the way. Yeah, I agree. You gotta do the compliment, you gotta, you gotta do the criticism of Sandwich with your, with, your, with your criticisms. You gotta be like, hey man, I really like that pick you made. However, this card sucks and it shouldn't be in your deck and I don't wanna watch your stream anymore. But hey man, thanks for all you do. That's perfect. Also, yeah, you have to end it with a big fan. You have to be like, hey, man, listen, you're a terrible drafter. Uh, I don't think you're a good human being, but hey, man, huge fan. And I'm going to be like, I understand. He's got the look. I think they have Wild Onslaught in hand, and I think we're just dead. Are they, is this game three or game two? Did we lose a game? I think we did lose a game last game to, uh, like, super... Yeah, we did. This is game three. I've been a Frank Vincent's unexpected results support. Everyone says that. That unexpected results. Like, that was the most memorable moment in my Magic career for so many people. Uh, yeah, that deck was insane. Oh, wow. Still no attack, huh? Interesting. Well, I'm not going to not play Raph here, so. He's got the look. He's got the look. That kind of world must make that red and good and blue. I like Corsair here just because we can start attacking with Baird for pretty, pretty profitably. And we can also keep up the Invoke in case that's relevant. I think if we didn't get wrecked last turn when we didn't have Raph up, I think we're fine here. They have one card. God, please just don't be like. Oh, they can't alpha and onslaught. That's a good point, actually. This guy prevents you from onslaughting and alphaing in the same turn. There's a lot of things going on, and there's a lot of things in chat going on. My life is all right like this right now. It's real. Let's say he was around when Planeswalkers were in Planeswalkers, but not as old as Oblivion Stone. That's true. It went Oblivion Stone, then me, then Planeswalkers getting their sparks for the first time ever. That's that's the order that those that those went in. Oh, that's sad. And they got one up for the Shauna? Oh, crying out loud. This is disgusting. Oh. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> they don't have enough mana for that. Oh, it's so sad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just going to take eight here because none of these guys are worth losing. God, there's still no invoke targets, which is unbelievable. You played History of Banalia last game. You played a stupid jousting thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures, and we have five. If we attack with two. We have three, one, two, three blockers we take. We have one, two, three, four, five. We can kill one, chump block two of them. We can kill we can kill our own jousting lance, actually. I still remember seeing outside of 7-Eleven in 1956. Um, well, I was hoping you wouldn't bring that up because it's awkward. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. So we just need to hit four for this turn, right? I guess we can move the Lance too if we have to. The problem is once they alpha, like they're out of mana, so that's good. They really, they probably have no no way to trickery me. We can put them to 10 by just attacking with Wrath. Three blockers is so bad. Can we just go block here, block here? Would we die? Four, five, six. Yeah, we would die. I'm just going to attack with Wrath. And then we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Presuming they all live. I don't, I don't think I have the mental capacity to. 
to do this to do this with my brain Actually, attacking with Baird and Pegasus Corsair is probably better because it gives us a better blocker on Wrath, but it's it's both deal three damage. Like either, either we attack with a one three and a two four, which is three damage in the air, or we it's wow, that's a good draw. What an unbelievable! Well, I guess he only gets to attack with four guys though. It's actually surprisingly okay. Well, five guys, I guess. Okay. Well, less okay. We have three blockers. You have five guys. Yeah, I think we're dead here. That is unfortunate. How much better was your interconnection when you played Magic during the American Civil War? It was hard then because you had to actually uh, send telegrams of everything. Three. Yep. Hmm. So we got to chump block you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten. If all of these guys can live, we're good. I don't think they can. Actually, yes, they can. Can't they? No. Maybe. Probably not. Five, six, seven. We have to block most things here. That's unfortunate. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not ideal in any in any world, but we can kill the honor guard. And we're still left with a Raph, a Baird, and a future Pegasus Corsair. We go to four here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're literally two away from from the death. There's a Frank Lepore waiting in the sky. He'd like to meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. That's a good. That's a good David Bowie meme he did there. Invoke does heal for four. That is correct. So we go to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So we need two blockers here. So if we go block, 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 we take one, two, three, four, five, we die. Any land here would have been great. Like being able to play two of these is really backbreaking. Even just being able to go, like we want the bodies from, we have to keep putting on the pressure though. I think I might just maybe Corsair Invoke. Oh, is that good? No, it's got to be Call here, right? One, we have to block here. This is an easy block. We're gonna have one, two, we're gonna have four blockers. One, two, three, four, we take three. If they don't tap anything down. Actually, I forgot we can kill the surveyor. That's actually a good good idea. So we go to eight, and we have three blockers with the Pegasus Courser. So we go chump here. Then they have one, two, three, four, five, six guys. We have three guys, and we're at eight. I like that a lot, actually. That might be the play. I 
Uh, the small treasure near the, the avatar just means you open it in a treasure chest. I think it's one of the rare ones. <laughs> oh, God. Never don't have it. Never, never once don't have it. Pierce the sky. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Just. That's probably going to do it for us, ladies and gentlemen. We're at eight. Have to chump here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. All right. So we block here and here. We take three, four, five, six, seven. We almost assuredly die. Go to one, I guess. Pierce the sky, dude. That is just phenomenal. Hey, it's the one land we needed. And we put them to five. We go block, block, and we're just dead. Block, 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 and we're dead to the two one ones. That was way more surprising uh, one two finish than I would have expected. Um, not sure what to say there. That was frustrating. I don't want to get too salty, but uh, that was an extremely frustrating draft where they hit Surveyor, which knocks out a blocker and gives them an extra mana to attack with uh, through our Baird. And then they also hit Pierce the Sky the following turn. There are multiple turns where we actually just have to win on board if they don't hit anything relevant. And then they hit one of the most, two of the most relevant cards that they could hit. And. Um, what can you do? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.